For me, writing started as soon as I could write. When I was a kid, I read Lord of the Rings, and I decided that doing anything else besides writing would be incredibly painful and boring. Writing novels is absolutely my passion, and I want to do as much of that as constantly as possible. I've got the next five to six novels pretty solidly planned out, so it's just writing each one of those. Um, my children's novel, Zeb and the Ruckus, Zeb and the Great Ruckus comes out next year. Um, that'll be followed by the novel set in Brisbane called Adonis Comacoma, which is a very strange book that I'm really excited to see how people react to. And uh, from there I want to do more um, left field projects as well. I recently worked with Joseph Mark on the, the Pocket Hipster application where I did some voice acting and wrote some ridiculous one-liners for and I'd like to do some more ridiculous projects like that. I'd love to write for video games, but novels are absolutely my passion, but I also love collaborating with people across projects. I work with the 4C Arts Collective with artists and musicians. We would put on shows that bring all those different worlds together. And that's for me is good social contact too. I mean, writing can be so hermetic. Slaving at your keyboard, I mean, I love it. I sit there with, you know, listening to a bunch of Marble and tapping on their keyboard and have a great time. But uh, you gotta get out of the house once in a while. I think what's exciting is there's a lot more DIY projects coming up in Brisbane. I'm working with emergent publications a lot at the moment and they're really into this idea of like anthologies and mixtapes so I just finished a project where I was given a prompt which was to write a story based on Debbie Gibson's electric youth that had to be science fiction and tied to a historical event set in 1989. So for me getting that kind of ridiculous prompt that I would never in a million years think of myself really pushed me to create something strange and interesting and I met a bunch of other writers doing the same thing and people from all over the world, like Ireland, America, that I'm all friends with now. And we're all coming together and collaborating on one piece of material together. So for me, I really enjoy doing that kind of thing. What I like about the Paper Girl project is for writers, often it's very difficult to get that first foothold or to get even just a simple short story or short piece out there. I think the best way to get stuff out there is to throw it in people's faces. So you can do that quite literally. And I think I think also in a world where art is increasingly intangible, I love ebooks and I love digital media, but I also love tangible physical products. So I think we're moving more and more away from that and getting a nice physical reminder where people can pick up something that's a surprise and it's special and they can show people and share. I think the good thing about these kind of things as well is you can kind of think outside the box and push your boundaries a bit. A lot of the established literary journals and publishers will only take stuff of a certain genre or a certain word count or a certain style. So any option you can have to do something completely outside of that is really a good thing.